All right, so now let's check out how to record in the session view. So before we start again, opening up the preferences, just to check if our input is set to the correct audio interface. The buffer size is set to 64 samples and the latency looks good. So let's go ahead and start. On each track, you will see this input output section where you can set the inputs and outputs. If you don't see that, you can go over here and click on this IO to enable that view. I leave that open. Now I have the sub 37 plugged in and playing some notes and you can see on this track on input one, we're getting some signal. So it's set to external in. And in that second drop down, I've selected input one and we can see the signal coming in. So this is a great way to check if we're getting signal in even before we start monitoring it. Now under the monitor section, we have few options. I can click in here and we hear the signal coming in. But it's always going to be monitoring, no matter if the track is armed or not. You can see that indicator here showing that. Auto is a better option. So we don't hear anything right now. But if I arm the track, you hear the signal coming in. So a better option to choose rather than always monitoring the signal. All right, so we're getting a good signal. Everything looks okay. Now let's look into recording the signal. I'll turn on the metronome. So if I hit the arrangement play button, we should hear the click. We don't hear it because enable only while recording was checked. And now we can hear it. The counting is set to one bar. We could even change the sound of the metronome. A click. Wood. I'll just switch back to classic. We can also play around with the rhythm of the metronome. So let's say if you want a triplet, that's an eighth triplet. So a lot of interesting options here for the metronome. We can also adjust the global tempo over here. We can tap the tempo and Ableton will guess what that tempo is. Now doing this with the mouse can be a bit unnatural. So we can key map that. I'll click key here. And now I'll click on tap and just tap a key on my numeric keyboard. So now the key T has been mapped to tap. And now when I tap the T key, I can set a tempo. So I just round this off to 92. All right, so it looks like everything's set up. I want to play along to a groove, so I'm going to bring in a loop. I pre-selected this loop. I'll just drag this in and put it on this audio track. We can also drag it to a blank area and Ableton will automatically create an audio track, but I'll just put it here for now. Now I can jam along and figure out what I'm going to be playing. The levels are pretty good, but maybe I'll just tone down the overall level for both the tracks so the master doesn't distort. And now to record, I just have to click on any of these circles on the track clip slots. We hear the one bar count in. And now we're recording. I can double click and look at the waveform that's being recorded in. And I can just hit the space bar or the sub button to stop the recording. I can edit the recording. So let's say I don't want that last bar or maybe the last two bars. And now when I play, we're only going to hear the first two bars. All these settings are automatic. We have warp turned on, loop is turned on. That's why the recording is looping. If I want to make a new recording, I can click on the circle right below. We have this global quantization set to one bar. So it'll only trigger right at the top of the bar. So if I click now, it waits, and then it starts recording. I can also hit the play icon to stop the recording and immediately start playing it back. You'll also notice the color change from red to green. Let's do that one more time. So if you're quick enough, you can get that loop going immediately and never have to interrupt the performance.
let's do another one. So hit the record button. And just hit that play button right before the beginning of the next bar. And it's going to stop recording and immediately start playing on the next time around. Cool. So that's how you can record in Session View.